Good morning, grade four girls. How are you today? Today we have a new lesson. What is the design process? What is the des design process? We finish from what is technology. Today we will start with what is the design process? Today is Tuesday, 21 April 2020. We have pages 356, 357. Learning objectives. At the end of this lesson, you can to communicate the steps in the design process and will use the design process. Before I start with the lesson, our lesson, I want to show you here and our experiment. Okay, all of you please focus with me here. How can a model help us learn about the real thing? Look at uh, Observe about the, the model, two model here. airplanes. They both have different wing designs. Let's test each plane to find out which will fly the furthest. Plane A, you have to do it three times, three trails. Plane A flew one and 55 hundredths meters. Plane B flew three and five tenths meters. Let's try our test again. Plane A flew 94 hundredths meters. Plane B flew we have 3 and 74 hundredths meters. Let's try our test one more time. Plane A flew 1 and 53 hundredths meters. Plane B flew 3 and 47 hundredths meters. Okay, let's complete now our lesson. So how can the design of a model help you learn about real things? You have to make two paper planes models, as you see in the video, with different shapes, uh, the, as, but the same with, with different wings shapes but the same size area so you have to write this sample data here plane a 1.555 3.50 plane a point zero nine four and here the distance is three point seven four so who can read for us question number three? Okay, draw a conclusion. How might the shape of a plane wings affect how far in flies? Long, narrow wings can help a paper plane fly further. So as you see in the video, the long, narrow wings can help a paper plane fly further. Who can read for us question number four? Okay, communicate. Based on what you learn, discuss the shape of wings on passenger planes. Long, narrow wings might help passenger planes go further on the same amount of fuel so if we have long narrow wings it help passenger plane go further on the same amount of fuel so here people often have problems 
that can be solved with a new product or improved processes. Now, for example, people have always looked for faster ways to travel from one place to another place. You want to go from one place to another place, travel. So, engineers develop or improve technology offer more benefits to make product or process safer. Now we have two brothers, Orville and Dwelper Wright had a dream to design the world's first piloted and powered flying machine. So they help us, by the way, these two brothers. Other inventor had created the gli gliders, like this is gliders, as you see in the picture here. So what is it, the glider? A glider is a kind of aircraft. Look at the picture here. A, gl a glider is a kind of aircraft that can sail from high place to lower one without a motor. There is no motor here, as you see in the picture. So again, a glider is a kind of aircraft. What is it, a glider? A glider is a kind of aircraft that can sail from high place to a lower one without motor. Early gliders were difficult to control. After many experiments, Orville and Wilbur invited, invented a way to control flight. On December 17, 1903, there is motorized airplane. So they help us a lot. Without airplane, you cannot move, travel from one place to another. It will take with us times to go to maybe two days if you want to travel from one country to another. So The way the Wright brother designed the airplane can show how the design process is used. Now, in question number one, underline the definition of design process. All of you repeat with me. The design process is a set of steps for developing products and pro processes that solve problems. So design a process, what is it? It's a set of steps for developing products and the process that solve problems. Question number two, who can read it for us? Why is it important to use design a process when developing a new product? The design a process, excellent answer, can help you make a plan and organize ideas. So you have to make a design process, can help you make your plan and organize your ideas. So it's very important to make your design process. Again, the, the meaning of the design process is a set of steps for developing products and processes that solve problems. How to solve problems or design or design a process? What is it the steps? First, if you see here, number one, identify the problem. Do research. Do research. Develop possible solutions. Choose one solution. Design, construct a prototype. Test the prototype. You have to communicate your result. Evaluate and you can redesign again. Evaluate and redesign again. It's appropriate again, the design process. We have also, we will study it one by one. I in details, identify the problem do research, develop possible solutions, choose one solution, 
design and construct a prototype. Test the prototype. Communicate results. Evaluate and redesign. Thank you, my dear students, for your listening. And we will complete our lesson, inshallah, tomorrow.